All right, just doing video series. I don't know if I'll upload this, but I'll talk like I am. I'm gonna remove the bumper so that I can replace uh, the ballast on this headlight here. Uh, my plan is to remove the bolts needed to remove the hood. It's all one piece, all the grill and the under thing. So uh, I'm gonna remove this bolt. These two, this one's actually stripped out on mine. There, um, that's not connected, so that's for the fender. And then on each wheel well, uh, let me see. Okay, it's more involved. Yeah, uh, in the wheel well, uh, come over here. We got one there, 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 and then down on the bottom. We got a whole series of them going all the way across. You can see this. Da, 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 da. So we're gonna remove those. Same on the other wheel well, and then hopefully the bumper should come off. So taking the bumper off and I'm going to take it off so that I can replace the ballast on this headlight on the passenger side. Um, it just seems pretty easy. Um, bumper comes off. It's all one piece, all of this and the bottom. Um, you got a 10 millimeter bolt up here, same as here. And then these are just screws, um, these four. Um, mine's actually stripped down on this one, but this one was okay. And then on each wheel fender, you have you can see them here, one, two, three. And then you have a whole series of these, all the same size, all along the bottom, going to the other side and the other well. And that is a 5.5 millimeter from my set. Um, 7.30, no, uh, yeah, 7.30 seconds also worked. We're gonna take that off and let you know how it goes. All right, so the bumper is dropped now. Um, so yeah, it was just like it was supposed to be. After I took off uh, the screws up here and the Ones with the Phillips and the 10 millimeters and all those uh, little 5.5 millimeters. Um, all it is is just trim clips. So you just get your hand in behind here. Let me zoom out a little, so it's easier to see. Um, get his hand in behind here and just peel it back for this one. And then kind of bring your hand up here and wedge it out. Yeah, and it just clips out. So the one up here, one down there. So that's where you need to pull from so you don't rip your bumper or something. Um, there's nothing up here, so that's just, once I got that side off, this started coming down. And then when you do the same exact thing over here, pop, pop, um, it came off. Actually, no, I'll do that the other way. Bottom one first, top one. And then the next thing is once the bumpers drop, mine has fog lights. I'm sure yours probably will too. Uh, there's two clips. Uh, one's actually for over here, which I don't, uh, I think that's just a driving light. Um, these clips are super simple. Uh, they're just a push down on the back. Let me show you. Yeah, so these just came off, so they'll be a little easier for me. But um, yeah, on the back of them, you just push down here. Push down nice and hard. Like I heard one click, but then I heard a second click, and I, that's when it actually came out. And then these big ones, I haven't gotten this one off. Um, the mechanic actually broke this one off already. I didn't do that. Um, but it's two clips, one there, and then you push. So you'd push both apart at the same time, like spread them like that. That one's already broken, so if I just spread that one past the point, it should slide off. There we are. That's it. Okay, now the bumper is 100% free. Or it should be. Did I forget about something? Oh, it's just stuck on the plastic. Okay, it just turned out that the... Um, bumper didn't come free because I thought I um, a screw that was stripped out uh, well, actually wasn't, so I was holding it on. Other than that, now it's 100% free. We can pull it up and away. Come here, you. Yeah, front yard projects. Bam. Alright, now this is where my knowledge goes from good to f whatever the fuck. Um, here we're at the bottom of the car now. Let's zoom out so you can see where we're at. Okay, sitting here by the wheel. Got the ballast right here. Um, it's oriented in this direction, uh, like like that. And I had four little screws, <clears throat> tiny little things, uh, with their little T somethings. Uh, these guys. Let me see what the size of that is. Uh, it's a T15. Yeah, T15 to get rid of it. Will it not zoom in on my hand? There it is. All right, that's a T15. Uh, Torx is it? I don't know. What they use for decks and shit as well. Uh, that opens them up. And it's oriented in this direction. Remember that. Remember that. And then this clip, I uh, just got a flat screwdriver. And 
kind of opened this up to the side a little and I got it over it. I just want you to do like one first. I just got behind it with the flat head right in there. And then I'm gonna go to this side and do the same thing. A little gap up there for the screwdriver. All right, hold on. Okay, so weirdly, it turned out um, that orange thing was actually just a clip on top of the rubber. Uh, so in the future, it'll go back on uh, like that. So I just, I just put the rubber uh, with, back with its plastic piece. Anywho, let's try to get the new one on there, see what happens. All right, so at this point, it was pretty simple. Um, back at the ballast, this is the new one we bought. This is a knockoff brand from Amazon. Uh, a guy on the comments said that it worked on his MKX, so I'm going to hope it works on the MKT. Uh, this is also a 2011, this is a 2010, so I mean, hopefully it'll work. We'll see. If it doesn't, just return it to Amazon. Um, but anyway, just clips back in, easy peasy. Remember, it's back in that direction. And then, oh, wait a minute. Maybe we do have a problem. Okay, interesting. So the old one went that way. But the new one's going to have to go this way. Uh, shouldn't matter at all. Um, but we will see, right? Knockoff brands, you never know what you're getting into. Alright, so I just decided I was going to post this on YouTube. So um, I decided I'd show you guys that I got the um, headlights to work. I replaced both ballasts. Originally, I only replaced one of them. And I noted that the generic one I bought was noticeably dimmer. Than the original it did seem to get up to the same brightness eventually but it was slow to do that um, but it seems to be working so far it's a third of the cost so the um, only thing that was weird getting the bumper back on was uh, the bottom ones you got to kind of pull this down and then align each individual screw hole so if they couldn't hear I sorry you have to align each individual screw hole and that's kind of a pain on the bottom row. Otherwise, it was simple. Uh, getting the ballast back on, it's a T15 bit, if I didn't mention that earlier. And yeah, I was wrong originally. It just goes kind of sideways. I thought it went oriented that way, but it goes oriented that way. Um, I did not have to replace the bulbs, even though the dealership said I had to. And voila, they seem to be working just fine. So I'd recommend that product. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all I can think of. So there it is.